the, the, the issue is a horrific issue right now at this point, and a lot of the residents are still very confused as to why this whole thing is happening. Um, and in consideration of just fairness for the citizens of Calexico, we're asking that we wait until the 16th of September for that council meeting, and that um, just as the federal government is providing quite a bit of consideration to all the residents that are going to foreclosures right now, uh, many of those homes are going through full closure anyway. A lot of those homes are upside down. So it may be uh, a good idea maybe to wait until such time and, and discuss this matter and, and suspend the execution of that agreement until then. That's what we're asking for. Ladies, I want to refer this to our attorney online. Essentially, um, if this will be moved to the next meeting, to the 16th of this point, because um, Maricopa State actually has a conflict on this item, and we don't have three council members here then to be able to vote on it. So, because we have two vacancies or two absences tonight, this is going to be moved to the 16th. And there is going to be an item on the 16th about the Hearthstone CFD, so that council can discuss it, and you guys can bring up your issues that were brought up at the meeting, I suppose, or whatever questions you have at that point. I would greatly appreciate it. I have one question. Um, there was a letter that was issued out by the finance director to the residents uh, notifying them that they had to pay that tax uh, before foreclosure proceedings were going to occur. I don't remember, I didn't bring that with me, but I don't remember if that was in English and Spanish. I think it would probably be a fair, a fair thing to everyone that before these, this um, process takes such a serious step, that maybe they be notified in English and Spanish. Like just so that you know, the reason I have to opt out is on your particular uh, development, the, the houses that are in question, the, the residents that you live uh, on that that particular parcel, you have one apart stone. My company installed the air conditioning systems in that before I ran for council. And uh, the developer still owes money on that particular parcel. Right. Uh, I haven't filed mechanics liens. I think, I think your company is named on the bankruptcy though. It is because he owes money. Okay. So, so I really appreciate that. I think that's a fair thing to do at this point. And I very much appreciate that. So we'll see each other on the 16th. Thank you. Just one thing, Marika. Um, yes, we can definitely um, give a letter in Spanish to anybody. I had no, we had one lady come in and she spoke in English to me. Um, we did not have anybody call or come in that did you know, if they didn't understand the letter, certainly they can call us, but yes, if anybody is interested in getting it in Spanish, we can certainly do that. Okay, I'm doing my best to um, ensure that, what's her? Can you translate it? Definitely. And to ensure that they know much more information than what just the letter says and why it's happening. But um, I just figured that at this point, the seriousness of where this is all at, it's important that everybody be on the same page with the information and, and maybe waiting until then. So I really appreciate that. And what I don't want to happen is if I decide anything on this particular matter, Jennifer, correct me if I'm wrong, is that that could hinder any case that may be filed against any So I don't want my position to jeopardize the residents at all. So I'm staying out of it, not filing mechanics liens. I'm just going to wait to see what happens with the residents and the developer first. I know that in the last meeting, I think the council is in here, but the residents are looking towards um, new representation at this time too. So we're hoping that maybe she, the attorney, may be here for that day too. Um, I'll, I'll tell her what you just said. Thank you. Well, so we we'll on to the so we'll, we'll just place it on the September 16th agenda. Item number seven. <clears throat> Authorization to travel to Spring Nevada to attend the 24th Annual Pride Day Seminar on the River. One of the, uh, in this thing for, for attending this, this, uh, what is it, a seminar? It's a, it's a training. It's a training seminar. Yeah. Now, 
this thing is offered annually? Yes, uh, in fact, this, the city uh, water and wastewater uh, department has been involved with this for like, the 24 years. For 24 years. Right, and uh, I understand that you're you're seeking to send four 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 persons from each area. From each department. Yes. Right. There'll be operators. There'll be uh, water treatment operators, wastewater treatment operators, water distribution crews and wastewater collection crews. Well, they're gone for these, uh, how many days? Uh, three days? Three days. Uh, is it going to, yeah, who's going to be manning the... We have uh, other people, uh, staff, yes. Is that a percentage? Is like half of the staff? Or is that one half uh, of the staff? No, I, I think... It just seems like eight persons. I, I think it's like, like half of, uh, of each, each section. And they rotate, for they sure example, the they other rotate. eight that are there, that can stay there, were already... They're not going next year. They're going until next year? No. Whoever goes this year will not attend next year. next year. Right. The other... The, other set the ones that are staying behind are going to... Are going, going, yes. That's what we've done for, for a long time. And that's the recommendation, uh, I mean, is that the... the uh, is that is what you recommend that we do this? <coughs> That's how we eight make persons decisions. every year instead of maybe uh, six I, persons or four persons. I think there were three last year, three or three. Mm -hmm. So this time it's four and four. <coughs> Just curious why so many. Uh, is this required? It's a, a, it is re the training is required. The hours of service is required for each uh, for their, their uh, certification. And at three hundred and fifty dollars per person, the room board. Training, uh, you can't be I'm not questioning the, the expense. The expense doesn't seem to be that much, but it just seems that so many persons being out of the same grant seems to be. Oh, well, we, we have it covered. Okay, thank you. That's all. Thank you. That said, do I have a motion to approve item number seven? So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion passed. The REA item number nine, approved budget amendment resolutions for the redevelopment agency. Various funding. Well, well, um, one of the things that I noted, I don't know if this is from you or from uh, um, Louie, but uh, the signatures are just asking for um, uh, Mayor Renz. <coughs> Yes, that was brought up to our attention, and I believe that Gabby from my office has changed all those papers and, get, and provided them to Louie. That was an oversight. All right. The, the, uh, on the security fund number 405-6131, object code 52230, again, you have other, that's a good amount of money. Uh, what, uh, you can tell us what that other application is designed for. It's on the fourth set of page two. Yes. The other... Page one. What we put in there is for projects. Any projects that the redevelopment agency has, what we have is unrestricted and restricted projects. And on other line items, we'll have like enterprise zone and the manufacturing impairment zone. For this, this particular project, the downtown residents would be one of those that would be coming out of there. We have approximately $400,000 allocated for that. And the balance may be the tourist parking lot. We also have funding for that. So it's only for the, uh, the money is just for those kind of projects? Yes. That's Any cool. money in the RDA accounts that are either capital projects are used for city public facilities. In this particular account? In, in 405, 407, there's other accounts of 421 and 422, which are not being presented today. Okay, that's what I think. Do I have a motion to approve? I vote for the nine. So moved. Seconds, all those in favor? Aye. 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 